Everybody, we're back. School is back in session. I am the uh, I am the student, not the teacher right now. I am the pupil. We need to get... Um, I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself yet. Um, but we need to get some confidence again. I haven't had the... Uh, what suspicious package is a great name. It could be a double entendre. Like, is that a cucumber in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? Or it could be like, hey, get back. There's a suspicious package. I, it's like a triple entendre, really. Um, I like this. I like this. I think we should feed a unit. Uh, wow. Wow. Uh, freeze me, freeze me. Maybe we make a decision and we say, we don't care that much about a ladybug here. Um, because we have to make a, we have to, we have a priority queue. We can't freeze everything because then we'll miss out on some level twos that are coming up in our next shop. Obviously, I, I prefer the ladybug to some of the units that we maybe, some people would say we prioritized here, but I'll take my draw. I think it's just a matter of time. You got to recalibrate. Here's the thing is like when you're so good at the old meta, of course the new meta is going to throw you for a loop. It's like if Wayne Gretzky, um, something, something, then after they changed the rules of hockey, if they were like, oh, you can't pass the puck anymore, he'd be like, what the heck? That was like my whole thing. So true. That's why they call me the master of metaphors. Obviously, if Wayne Gretzky something something and then they changed the rules of hockey to make it so it was illegal to pass the puck, he wouldn't be as good anymore. You can be mad, but it's true. It's a strong team. I'm, I'm very happy to have a tropical fish. My current hypothesis is that... Uh... Yes. <laughs> Hold on. Give me, give me one of these. Sell me. Buy me. And let's get some... Let's get some doubled up scaling here. My current, sure. Sure. I will still do it even though we do lose out on the a tier three or a level three in our shop. No, a tier three. Tier three was right. Um, a potentially lose out on a tier three, I should say. I think we lose this one too. It's, these are some scary teams. Um, but my current hypothesis is that scaling is king right now. Uh, so anything that gives us scaling, I'm going to be pleased to take. I certainly would prefer not to be on lethal after this round, but I can only really do, you know, what feels right to me. And this team feels really good. The lack of equipment is a problem, especially in this case. Holy cow. But our, the actual stats on our team are good. I'm happy. I was going to say I'm happy we got a draw. We actually lost. I'm just a little surprised at the at the magnitude of us being outscaled right now. I'm not saying I'm the, I'm a perfect gamer. I'm just a little surprised at the magnitude of being outscaled. I would say let's let's get this out here. Let's purge some equipment. Let's consider keeping a rooster. I think it's a little late for us to start tossing a uh Toss in a rat out there or a caterpillar. I mean, we basically need to win the remainder of our games. I'm willing to say it, by the way. I think if we lose this, uh, like if we had lost this round, which actually came kind of close, this would be one of the best teams we've ever had that did this badly. Okay, you're gone. You're involved. You're going to be part of the dang squad here. You're going to be soon to be ripped from the squad. I'll do anything to get stronger right now. You're not going to level. You're going to get sold soon, but probably not quite yet. I would love some garlic or even like a turtle. Garlic is, is where we got to go with this one. This, this mosquito is the game for us right now. It's a really strong team. At least it feels like a strong team in terms of its current scaling. Now, this is how I expected some more rounds to go. Now we have a logical through line. We know we can continue our scaling. We know you're not the first, or you're the first to go, so you can stick around a little longer and help us with our scaling. We'll say see you later, alligator. Sorry, I've been doing a lot of daycare activities recently. It's mo most of the new music I listen to is some form of, you know, reconfigured nursery rhyme. 
Uh, you're gonna go next. I think you might be able to, at least for a minute, at least for a second here, I think you might be able to run a little double bison build. I just, you're, you're basically getting honey because we only had three gold left. I didn't like the animals in the shop. If this gives us a 5% extra chance to win or draw, I would accept that as a positive in my world. This team scares the crap out of me. Holy cow. And yet, here we are. Doing pretty well. Four wins. Scaling. Honestly, hard not to just keep buffing you a little. Now, I think you would probably be like, okay, we are sacking an 8-8 to double your scaling speed. But I would accept that as actually being, like, pretty good. This might be where things kind of go wrong. But I like the idea of a gorilla getting buffed. And I, we really do want melon. Maybe we, we hold off on garlic. It's a risk. This team is still really good. I think. That's my, my analysis. Thank you. That's an incredible mosquito. You just gotta, you know, you gotta thank the super auto pets got above for that one. I was I was in, about to have a moment of crisis if we only got one win on this run. I would I'd legitimately have to admit we don't know what we're doing anymore. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever really known what I'm doing, but this one, it felt like we were in a really good spot just in general, so... That would have that would have thrown me for a loop. I think this is a great time to add a scorpion onto the squad. We'll freeze you for now. I don't know. I'm not fully convinced that I would like to um, go up to a level three bison. I think it's overkill. But we do have. I mean, at, um, if we're gonna get to ten, I'm not saying we're gonna. But if if we're gonna get to ten, we got like a minimum of five rounds before that would even happen. So we. I will never get 10, the crisp shirts. I hate to be the one to, to pop your bubble here if that's how that went down, but I'm happy to be alive as well. Okay, in this situation, let's buy some pizza. I know the, the gorilla is like he's a sleeping giant right now. He's not doing anything yet, but you're saying there's a chance. Okay, this, this badger, that's pretty much exactly what I was concerned about. We will lose here. But I gotta respect that I, I love a front badger. I'm not that salty about losing to a front badger, okay? It's not really a sleeping giant, it turns out. I'll take my six wins, given how badly it started. <laughs> and then that's what I wanted to see. I think we can run a fish for now and then freeze, freeze, and we'll buy one other animal. Let's be the... Um, Let's be awkward piggies. You know what? Like some uh, Lord of the Flies. Like some William Golding, if you will. Hey, Bixby. Who wrote Lord of the Flies? Is William Golding. Act like you've been there before. Good. Two, three, I'll be honest, you're just good stats. I'll, I'll, I'll take you as ballast, potentially. And then I think I will buff a fish, because it seems most likely to stick around. Our ladybug gets some benefit out of that. Stats are looking good. This is not an unbeatable team, but it's a, it's a pretty strong one. We love that. We love all the ant buffs going to the same unit. I'll take my draw. The leaking clementines. What is this, a Michelle Gondry movie from 2004? Um... Because she cried in the movie. It's a great movie. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. It's a great movie. I don't. I still don't see a peacock being part of the strat for me. What I do see, legitimately, is a double dromedary. If we're not going to get a level up, and this is not an admission of Bacta, okay? If we're not going to get a level up, we might as well embrace... That our level up will come one turn late, but the units that we get on that level up will be stronger. I have seen some some scuttlebutt, one might say. Some, uh... Well, that was just... Things went badly there. Um, I've seen some advice on the Super Auto Pet subreddit. People are saying the dromedary is actually so overpowered that it's almost comical. I don't know if that's true, but... We certainly made our ladybug a lot better right out of the gate here. 
Um, let's roll regardless. I don't think we love any of these animals that much. I think we could cupcake, but I'm somewhat confident. No, we should cupcake. This would be a good round to win. 8 HP is much better than, than 6, because 6 is 2 away from lethal. 8 is a minimum 3. So I think investing to win here actually makes a, a great deal of sense. And I don't know if the cupcake made the difference, but I, I think that we made a, a very smart meta decision there. Now, I also don't really love any of these animals um, at this level, to be honest with you. So I think we'll roll past this and we'll... We'll save it for one more round. Now, I, I enjoy that. I absolutely enjoy this. Now, I know what you're thinking. Maybe you can get a little scampy buy-sell. I'm not totally convinced that that's how I want to live my life. What I would do for now, um, I think we would sell you, buy you. It's a momentary debuff. I'm also going to freeze you for a buy-sell next turn. You're going to be 4-4. Four, four. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to... Well, mm, Sure, I'll freeze you for a buy sell. We gotta prioritize the buffalo. The buffalo is gonna be our meat and potatoes here. It's a strong team. Eight nine is is tough for me to get through, I'll admit. <laughs> I ain't running into these golden poop mega scaling teams so early, man. Okay, now a skunk, we could freeze and actually get some dromedary value out of that. So we we know we love this. We sell ya. I think this will take us to five. I think we like this well enough for sure. Probably look at selling a fish soon. That's still, I don't mind that. And then you're going to be here. Now you're a 10-10. Okay, now you're a 10-10 with garlic, which makes you an 8-11 with meat. This, I know, like, I don't know who I'm trying to convince when I say it's a strong team. I guess I'm trying to convince myself, but it's a, it's a strong team, man. It shouldn't be, I shouldn't be going out like this, this easily. Okay, there's two. We got a long road in front of us, don't get me wrong. The fish has got to go. This might be a good opportunity to, to can a skunk, you know? Now we're spitting out a skunk that is going to be an 8-9. That's pretty, that's pretty nice, honestly. And I think, honestly, we could run a combine, buy me, sell me. It'd be nice if it hit the skunk, honestly. That's pretty good. And then we'll roll a hatching chick out there as well, and we'll freeze garlic... Uh, to use on the skunk next time, which will also buff our ladybug. Now, I don't know how long the dromedary is sticking around for, but I'm starting to feel like we, we've now... Semi-consistently, I go into the rounds with this team with some confidence. I look at these teams and I say, we got a, we got a good shot where we stand. So nice buff there. I don't really love the buy cells here. I also don't really love the buy cells here or the foods. Now, this is one where technically you don't have to buy sell, okay? But if we, like, <laughs> people, because they, I get, I get this in the mentions all the time on Twitter. They say you don't need to have an empty space in order to buy something for the buffalo to uh, get the buff. That's true, but if you don't have an empty space, then you can only buy animals that you already have. And there is an edge case. The edge case is if you buy a... Um, a buffalo, to get the 1-1 one, one out of the buffalo, you have to place it in an empty space. Otherwise, it's not a friend. You're just being, a, you know, accretive, one might say. So how do I feel about our current round? I feel like it would be best, believe it or not, if we saved you, so we got the 5-5 five, five buff here, and then bought a food. That way we at least got some scaling out of skipping this. And then we're going to sell the hatching chick... Buy a ladybug, combine the ladybug, buy the buffalo, combine the buffalo. I guess we don't need to, again, we don't need to place it in the, but you don't lose anything by doing it, I guess is what I'm, unless you, if you didn't sell the space just to do it, then you didn't lose anything. We're selling the space for the buffalo to, to come out later. Okay, so sell me. We can just do it this way. If that makes you happy, it can't be that bad. We have to do it that way if we want it to go down like this. Beautiful. Um... I think we're going to do a buy me, but not a sell me. And we're going to freeze this to get a level two something next turn. If we lose, we'll be happy we got that. It also feeds into buy sell. Um, round, for round nine, I feel like that particular instance in the shop was a little slower than I would have liked. 
that's extremely unfortunate and yet look at this maybe i was wrong maybe i was wrong everything went wrong there except the result okay so you get out of here sell me i don't think we're going to commit to our dromedary uh, i don't know whether you level the skunk or the buffalo okay let's go buffalo stats are important that's a gorilla. It showed up later than I thought. I was, I'm was. i not upset or anything. I'm just a little surprised, I guess. Um, I don't really think we need a level 3 ladybug, but we do get, you know, 2-2 two, two for buying it. So maybe it's well worth it there. Freeze me and then look for something that has, like, a, a benefit in abstract right now. 2-4-4-1. Four, four, the skunk technically doesn't really need the buffs, to be honest, but, like... Even though I just gave it to him. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't think we need the poodle. I don't think the... the it, would, it would buff itself, I think, too. But I don't think we need it. This team is not good enough to be here right now. And I, I know that sounds rude. But just like this... You got a lot of level twos. But the stats on the units were not that good. That's... I have found myself in that position in many circumstances. Don't get me wrong. It is interesting to think about, like, what if you bought a rooster here? Um, I think it could work, honestly. In that case, I, I kind of want a can. Adds 2-1. I prefer that you're going to get one extra buff this turn as a result of that. And a level 2 rooster is honestly, like, kind of goaded. I've become a, a huge fan of, of what the rooster's capable of. Now, we're witnessing something here. Our ladybug is kind of uh, detritus if we don't buy foods. The fact that it traded is absurd to me, but I'll take it. Ooh, rooster, rooster. Okay. Hang on here. It's a, actually like an unbelievable time for a buy-sell build. Uh, like... For real. Like, I think we can now say the dromedary can go. Our ladybug can go. It served its purpose. Then we buy you. And th this is where the buy cells get nutty. And remember, our rooster is getting scaled as well. It's not all about the buffalo here. The dragon no longer scales itself, by the way, which I, I think is a necessary... Same with the T-Rex, for the record. I think it's kind of like a necessary trade. Now, you take some of this, please. Um, that It was too good, which is fine. It's not like... You know, there, there's units in this game that are better than others, but... It definitely, for me, it doesn't make the, the dragon unusable. Let's put it that way. This is a scary team here. We're, we're lucky we came away with a draw. Like, we're going to be going up against some heavy hitters, but I'm just happy to have the opportunity, honestly, <laughs> given where we started here. Okay, sell me, buy me. The buffalo still gets scaled. You get combined. Honestly, I, I feel like let's give our rooster this. Let's buy a mosquito. Get a nice little buff on everybody. We're not going to want a scorpion, really. This was not a great turn for us either. I'm realizing that, like, the my whole life in this game, essentially, and this is not good, it essentially revolved... Oh, my God, we drew. Thank the Lord. It revolved around having more gold than usual. We gotta do it this way. So the fact, you piece of crap. I'm not buying you. We, you, you can be fine there. We got a, we got a ways to go. We gotta spend our gold effectively. <laughs> I love that though. Don't get me wrong. Tier ones. Thank you so much. Um, my ner what, what I guess what I'm trying to say is that nerfing the swan had a catastrophic impact on my meta because it wasn't that the swan was like a necessary heavy hitter or whatever it was just that the swan provided me the gold for my other strategies to work and without realizing it i based my entire life around the extra gold like i'm so used to having 12 13 gold per uh run or per per shop i should say that like i don't even know what to do with 10 like i feel like i'm i'm constantly hobbled as a result so I think we got to rebuild like our, our worldview. 
and and we got to learn all of our muscle memory over again essentially this this is crazy man honestly why don't you come here just so we get one extra buff out of this you might as well buff our our rooster a little bit level 2 rooster 2622 with melon armor on it is going to surprise some teams i'm i'm not saying we're going to get to 10 i'm just saying this is the best i've felt about it in a little while especially cuz we're two away from lethal and one away from 10 could could it be happening I'm also thrilled to see that our skunk is going to get to level 2, which seems extremely valuable. It's not the right time to be messing around. I think we set a new record on this run, by the way, for like the number of times we bought chocolate for an animal just to have the level up give us the animal we just bought chocolate for. But And that's the way you play this one, okay? I'm, I'm pretty confident. This is the strongest team I've had since the patch came out, without a doubt. Skunk is just absurd. It's it's incredible. It's the greatest. Still got it, maybe? Maybe? We've at least added one animal to our Hall of Fame. That's exciting for me. Look at this. Or one, one run to our Hall of Fame. Look at this. The awkward piggies. No one's going to be like, hey, how'd you make that one work? Obviously, you know, this is a pretty standard team. <laughs> I'm still pleased, though. <laughs> Let's run one more back now that we got a little confidence. So early game, what do we respect? We respect stats. If we respect stats, we should run this. Be a silly shovel, why not? You know, take my kid to the park. You see a lot of silly shovels. They're not really good for digging. They might be okay for, you know, playing around in the sandbox, but, you know, you wouldn't want to, like, you know, dig a septic tank with it. A septic tank? So we lost that one despite compromising our, our uh, ideals. That's fine, because this is the whole game plan right here. Who's sticking around? Uh, the green beetle is less likely to stick around than a ladybug. So let's start moving our stronger units to the front here. Wait, I like to have a mishmash. I like to like run weak at the front, then like ascending order of strength. Early, at least. In the late game, you got to change it up a little bit, or in the, even in the mid-game. Basically, from this turn onwards. Okay. Combine you. I'm not going to feed you to buff the HP on our swan. But I will take a swan, and I think right off the bat, we know we want to get ladybug buffs, so we might as well give our swan something that makes it a little bit more likely to stick around. This is a tough decision. Like, tougher than it looks. I think at right now, I would prefer not to invest in a fish, quite frankly. But I definitely don't want to combine my ladybugs, so I'm just going to take my swan lo one level up. And then I don't mind going like a 3-5 at the front. Actually, you know what? Maybe put, put the swan at the front. We still might run against some teams that are running ants. I just think it's a little... We're like one turn past the fish's main efficacy. My god. Okay. Am I starting to piece together a new meta? Or is this just wishful thinking? Not everyone's going to love this, but the swan, if we wanted to stick around, let's buff it, also helps us out with the ladybugs, okay? I totally think we could sell you for a dromedary. The dromedary served us pretty well last time, I thought. Roll me yet again. I would consider it. I would also consider just adding meat to a dromedary instead, to be honest. Okay, if that's where we're going to be, then just add meat to this dromedary. Think you can move your dromedary a little further ahead. We're going to be a very annoying team to play against. Because even if you got good stats, meat is the great equalizer. All right, that didn't come true. That prophecy did not come true in the slightest. I apologize. That was based on uh, nothing at all. It was based on a hunch. <laughs> it did not bear out in the data. Um, I don't think we... We need a level up, I guess. Like, we, let's freeze garlic because we'll probably have a unit that it warrants it in the future. We'll uh, start with a swan. Now, this is interesting. I do like the concept of a microbe. We do not have a turtle to make it work, but nobody's going to be expecting a microbe yet. We could sell, buy, sell. I'm going to do it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I have faith that a turtle will show up eventually. 
Now remember, you're going to override garlic here. So we don't need to buy equipment anymore. I think it's probably worth a 5-5. Five, five. Or like it's probably worth the losing the 2-3 to generate a 5-5. Five, five, and maybe we have like a super unit that lives through uh, a microbe. But I'm trying not to override our meat right now. This is like an awkward kind of phase for this run. I don't necessarily think we're in the clear. I think it's this team is going to look a little bit chaotic right now. But I do think that long term we got some options. So we need a turtle. I also don't mind just getting HP scaling. We'd have to sell a dromedary to do it. I don't think I'm willing to do that yet. I will freeze you. That seems like it could be relevant. I'll take my level. I would love... We can freeze you for one round and see how this shakes out, okay? Definitely not interested in that. We do want to buy food to buff the ladybug. It's, I mean, I guess, to be honest, for now, why don't you take some meat and we'll basically just treat that as a ladybug buff. Um, we have three gold remaining. Nobody else needs or even benefits from this, so... No, no, no. No, no, no. That, I hate wasting three gold like that. You wouldn't know it because I do it all the time. <laughs> I still think a couple of turtles and this team's off to the races. That's terrible news. That's terrible. Your, your turtle blew me out. Note to self, micro bad against turtle. Okay, now you've got to go, but I do respect what you've done for the squad here, okay? We're going to sell you. I think we're going to start, we're going to put like a buffalo in here. We could sell a hatching chick <clears throat> as a scaling engine, though I would prefer not to. Um, all right. I mean, uh, let's, let's let this ride for now. Why would we, why would you even want a second microbe? Just think about it. We're not, we're not playing around right now. What are you doing? Why are you just rolling? Do something. Give me a turtle. I know turtles can show up on pay to win. At least we're not playing against the turtle. I, I respect that. I'll take my draw. This team is kind of built for drawing right now, which is not ideal. You know what would tie this run together right now? We got to build one good unit. I hate to say it. You got to... You got to go. Let's... Let's... Let's believe in this ladybug for a minute. And you know what? I'll can to give the ladybug a buff and make our future units a little stronger because we're going to need him, man. We're going to need him. If you got it, if you need a skunk, you got us. This is what I was going to say, though. Give me, give me a quick buy sell. Give me like one of these and then one of these. Any unit that spawns other units is going to pair very well with a, uh, with a microbe. So if we could also get an eagle, for example, I would be way into that. Now, I see that the enemies have a turtle. That's really insanely bad. That's going to happen from time to time. I was kind of hoping, like, at some point we would get a turtle ourselves. We're kind of at the 11th hour now. Okay, n now's the time. You have to go. I wish it weren't the case. I do. Man, oh man, I wish that any unit was kind of close to leveling. <laughs> no buy-sell advantage. You gotta... I know you're probably looking at that chicken. If I weren't at 1 HP, I would probably, like, actually consider it. It's a great... Oh, we got a bunch of buy-sells in there! And we got the gold to make it work for once! That was, that was a rage click. Turtles! Every squad now! Every squad's got a turtle! Well, good for you. Congratulations. Must be nice. Anyway, I'm not actually mad. They had a good time. We got the 10 wins on this run. I feel like it kind of... I broke the curse a little bit. That last run was a disaster, but it just goes to show you. You should always release a 20-minute video where you end on 10 wins instead of trying to push it one more. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'll see you in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. See ya!